Hello and welcome to Sufini Designs. Today's video is of me working on this piece. Now what's different about this piece is I've actually incorporated PVA glue into the base colour of the resin. I wanted to see how it reacts with the resin, if it cured, didn't cure uh, and what kind of effects we could get with adding PVA glue. So I'm actually quite pleased with some of the the effects that we get in and around this piece which I wouldn't normally be able to achieve with just using regular pigment pastes in the resin so it was actually quite a good experiment so without further ado let's get into the video so for this one I've painted the board white and what I've mixed in with the resin is some PVA glue. Now I've added less than 10% of the glue to the resin and I'm just now spreading this all across the board. Now the idea is to see if we can get any cell creation happening with the colours on top of the glue. Now I know that you can get some cells happening and things happening when you use enamel paint as a base tint um, there's other base tints that people use um, from spray paint and things like that so I just wanted to see what kind of reaction we would get with the glue and as you can see that the glue is starting to peep through the colour that, that I've just laid on top so there is elements starting to happen so I just start playing around with adding the colour I've also added a touch of the glue to the white on top just to see again just to see what happens and I'm just going to layer the colours on top of each other add a little bit of heat in between to see what happens and I'm actually quite liking how this is coming together so far so this video is sponsored by, by my new members only site Sue's Creative Circle where I'm going to be creating more in-depth videos for those who are looking for extra help with resin and are looking for new ideas to incorporate in with the resin. So check out the link in the description below for more information on this new members only site. So without further ado let's get back into the video. So I'm just adding some heat to just pop any bubbles and I'm also just making sure that there's no holes or divots in the white areas. Now I felt I just need a little bit more of the white just to give it a little bit more contrast so as you can see the resin is breaking up a little bit in the white areas which is it's quite nice so I think it's giving lovely effects with the glue in and I'll definitely be experimenting with more glue in the resin. Now I'm using PVA glue, now this will um, should dry clear so by adding the white pigment paste to that we won't, we shouldn't have an issue with it drying clear on the top whereas in the base it was just purely glue mixed in with a clear resin because I painted the board white and then I'm just adding a little bit of heat to try and break that up a little bit and help it move ever so slightly So here I'm adding some mineral turpentine because I want to experiment further just to see what happens when you add a touch of mineral turpentine. Now I'm not adding it all over, I'm just adding it to this one white section where the glue is added because I feel that you know, obviously I don't want to overdo it by working on all areas so I just want to see how that, that reacts. And it works it's pretty much the same way as it does when we're using the regular white so you probably wouldn't need to do this process in the future because it, it looks it looks good without doing adding any mineral turpentine and then finally I'm just adding my usual signature acrylic diamonds just to add a little bit of texture and dimension to the piece um, if you've watched many of my other videos you'll know that I like to add texture and dimension purely because I just think it adds a little bit more to it especially when light hits it from different angles of the room 
So as always, I hope this video has given you some ideas for adding extra elements to your resin art and to give you the courage to experiment with your resin. If so, then please give it a thumbs up and or better still subscribe to my channel. I have other ideas to keep you inspired. As always, you'll find a list of the products used in the description below, along with some handy links to the Facebook pages, um, website, the membership site, etc. in the description below. So until next time, bye for now.